Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So this week <laughs> I'm going to be putting some pretty weird stuff on my face and I'm really scared. So thanks to Siobhan for the suggestion, I have hairspray, I have a plain flower and I have baby powder. So I'm going to put these things on my face and see how long it makes my makeup last because People have told me that they've seen people put hairspray on their face to set their face and that honestly sounds absolutely terrifying to me. And baby powder makes sense because I have loose powders that literally smell like baby powder. I think they are just baby powder. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get started. And if you want to see me destroy my face and cause about 15 million breakouts, then keep on watching. I'm gonna begin by using my professional as usual. My well, skin's actually pretty bad at the moment, so even if this does turn out really bad, it doesn't even matter because my skin's already breaking out. I swear, every time I sit down to film, the lighting just decides to go terrible. I sit down, it's nice and cloudy outside, and then BOOM! The sun comes out, and then I want to die. And I think for foundation today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match in the shade... 1D1W. Just recently started using this foundation again and I really like it. You do need quite a bit of product to cover your face though. It's a really nice coverage. Now I am going to try and wear this makeup for as long as I can but um, I have gymnastics this afternoon so if this looks really really terrible by that time I'm gonna have to stop it at you know, a certain point because I don't want to look like a mess. Now for concealer, I feel like I'm just going to use something that I normally use that I know doesn't really go all weird. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Okay, so what I've decided to do is that I'm going to use baby powder on one half, plain flare on the other half, and then I'm going to spray the hairspray onto a powder puff and use that on the rest. So I guess first we'll go in with some baby powder. I am so terrified. Um, I guess I'll set my under eyes with the Beauty Blender first. Oh, that smells so good. I freaking love the smell of baby powder. But like, who doesn't? So I'll do baby powder on this side. Set my under eyes with that first. I hope these are eye safe. And then I'm going to be using the Furless PPF1 brush and use that on the rest of my cheek. Oh, it feels so smooth. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna wipe this this little bowl out so I can dump some flour in it. I am not excited for this. This is gonna, this is gonna smell bad. This is gonna look bad. Whoa! Okay, that's too much. At least I can put this stuff back in there. So, oh, the smell! So I am also going to take some of my beauty blender. I'm going to be washing the absolute crap out of this afterwards. And I'm going to be putting that on the other side of my face. I'm like 100% sure this is not safe for your eyeball area. Oh! Oh, that feels so bad. That feels so freaking bad. Okay, this is not safe for the eyes. I can immediately tell. Oh, I hate this. I hate it. Oh, it's so bad. No, no more. Bye bye. Back in the, back in the, in the jar. Now for the other terrifying part. So I've got my Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray Strong Flexible Hold. Well, I want my face to have a strong, flexible hold. So I'm going to take this little powder puff that came with my Cotty Air Fun powder and I'm going <laughs> to pat this on my face. This is not going to look good. How much do I do? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh this is gross. Oh, my nose is not going to like that. Oh. Oh. Ew. It didn't move anything around. I'm kind of impressed with that. 
the baby powder side actually looks so like luminous this is so weird this is so this is the dumbest thing I've ever done so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna quickly um groom my eyebrows so I don't look like a freak. Okay, my face already kind of feels hard where the hairspray is. And then I'm also just going to chuck on a quick coat of mascara. This is the Better Than Sex. What if I like curl my lashes and then comb hairspray through my lashes? I feel like that's really not safe. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it as that and um, pray to God that I don't erupt. Can't even. This is just, oh, that's, mm. The only thing about this hairspray is that right now it looks really shiny. The, the flower side's kind of settled down a little. It's still really bunched up under my eyes. Baby powder side feels so freaking smooth. The hairspray feels like it's kind of drying down a little, but I'll try not to touch it. Yeah, the flower side just feels really, really gritty. And I feel like it's going to get in my eyes, which I'm kind of terrified about. I'm just gonna check on some lip balm too. This is what we're left with. I feel like my eyes look really irritated. Um, so I guess I'll come back in a few hours and update you guys on the situation. <laughs> I am. This is not gonna be fun. I can tell. My face is so white and just nothing's going on over it. Maybe I should test how other products go over it. I feel like that's a bad idea because I'm just trying to test the wear. Okay, anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so it is about 3.30 right now and I'm just having a look at my face in the mirror. And what I can realise is on the flower side it is kind of it is still got that really gritty feeling and I also feel like it's really really drying like on this blemish that I have here I feel like it's kind of clumping onto it the baby powder side is still extremely smooth there's no creasing there's not really any creasing anywhere however the hairspray although it is dried really hard it's gone on really funny on my nose the chin's like okay it's kind of worn off a little and yeah, it is like clinging in a few bits and pieces. And it's obviously still really, really shiny. So, you know, I, I'm not sh <laughs> probably should just go out like this just because. So what I am gonna do is just to kind of uh, mattify like my forehead and stuff. I'm just going to use some of my Studio fix powder over where the hairspray is and stuff and I'm gonna see if I can get away with this tonight So obviously I'm not gonna film at night time because I use natural light and obviously there's not going to be any So what I am going to do is um, Put everything in the description about what happened at night obviously I'm gonna be sweating a lot So normally my makeup wears off anyways, but you know may as well give it a shot <laughs> um, Yeah, I'll make sure to put everything that happened down in the description and so that way you guys can know what happened but as of right now it's actually okay well the baby the baby powder side I would 100% do again if this doesn't break me up because it actually feels really nice it feels like the majority of my powders and it's probably just because it's not that hot today but I'm not getting oily or anything so we'll see how that works out later tonight when I get all hot and sweaty. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out the description if you want to see what happened. Make sure you like, subscribe if you haven't already. We're so close to 200 subscribers. I can't even speak English. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.